What's up guys and welcome back to part 8 of this Mercedes Mobility Minibus campervan conversion. So if you're new to the channel or if you haven't been following along with the conversion so far, parts 1 to 7 are all on my channel already and that's involved taking all the old flooring up, replacing all the old flooring with new flooring with 50mm insulation throughout. I've replaced all of the insulation beneath all the windows and in the windows that I'm not going to be using. All of the insulation in the headlining has been replaced and a new headlining has started to be put up and that's all going to get clad with PVC cladding as well. And we've also got water tanks and LPG tanks mounted to the chassis at the back. As I say, all of those jobs are already on my uh, channel already, so have a look at my channel to go through those if you haven't already. So in this episode of the series, I'm going to start framing out some of the back of the conversion. I've got a nice delivery of CSL timbers that I'm going to be using for the framing of the rear bedroom area and for the bathroom area as well. I've also got a shower tray for a Thetford C200 toilet, the specific shower tray for that toilet as well. So that's going to be getting mounted round about that window area as well. So this episode, as I say, I'm going to be cutting down all these CSL timbers, getting a full frame built for the rear bedroom area. And as I say, hopefully there should be enough time to start framing out the bathroom area at the same time as well. All the CSLs are just going to be cut down with a mixture of different tools, either jigsaws or circular saws as well, depending on what cut's going to be required. And I'm going to be mounting them to the steel or aluminium frame that is holding all the windows in place. In between the windows, there's aluminium framing going all the way in between them and all the way along the bottom. That's what all of the CSL timbers are going to get secured to as well. Just to be sure that they've got a nice solid anchor point and they're not going to be going anywhere at all. So I'm going to get some safety gear out, some tools out, get cracked on, get some of these CSLs cut down. And hopefully by the end of this video we should have a fully framed out rear bedroom area. And hopefully a framed out bathroom area as well. So we'll see how we get cracked on. Right, so that's the shower tray for the Thetford C200. It's the proper built specific one for the C200 itself with the cutout that the toilet sits up on top of. Now this actual tray itself is going to need supporting underneath. As you can see on this side it's completely loose. So it's going to need a couple of sheets of CSL timbers and two stacked on top of each other is exactly the right height for that to sit on top of. So I'm going to be doing a frame of double CSL going all the way around the tray just to make sure that there's no flex in the tray at all so it's all going to be nice and secure. Now on the underside of the tray there's also a bit of a recess. So as you can see that's the shower drain hole but the rest of the tray is actually recessed in a little bit. So I'm going to be cutting out a sheet of plywood just to take up this gap otherwise when you're standing on the tray it'll flex the tray down to the floor and it won't necessarily drain out of the drain hole. You might have a little puddle in the middle where it's just been stood on instead. So putting a little bit of plywood underneath will take up this excess of the recess inside the tray. So it'll then be sitting flat on the floor and all the way water will then just drain straight out of the drain hole. So I'm just cutting down some plywood sheet to fit into that recess. Then I'll be cutting a few more CSLs down for the frame and for the supporting timbers. And then we'll get this fitted in and see what it looks like. So I'll crack on, get some plywood cut down, get some more CSLs cut, and hopefully we'll have this tray fitted in pretty soon. Right, so I've been cutting down a few more bits of wood for support for the shower tray itself and that's now all fully supported, there's no flex in the tray itself, this is all butted up right nicely against all the wood. So now I'm going to take the tray off, make sure all the supporting woods are secured together because there's a couple of strips that are making up the height to make sure that the shower tray is nice and sturdy. So I'm going to remove the shower tray, 
secure all of the supporting beams to make sure that they're nice and sturdy. Then we'll be able to get the shower tray back in place with the base of the plywood as well. Because as I say, at the moment, if somebody steps in this, you can see the amount of flex that's inside the tray. But once that plywood sheet's underneath the tray as well, that will take all that flex out. And it means all the water will be able to drain straight down through the drain hole. So as I say, I'm going to get this tray back up, get all the battens secured. Then we'll get the tray back down with the supporting ply underneath. And then we'll be able to carry on with more framing out. Right, so I've got the ply base adhering to the bottom of the shower tray, and that's just being weighed down as well. But once that's set, that won't be going anywhere. So while that's been setting, I've been cracking on and getting part of the frame built. As I say, this is going to be a dividing wall between the bathroom and the bedroom at the back. So I've just got some insulation out there as well, and all of the voids in between this little wall that I built are going to be fully insulated and all of the water pipe work for the shower is probably going to run inside that as well similar to how I did on the last one so I'm going to cut some, uh, down some of that insulation get that fitted in between the voids on the wall that I've just built then I'll start on the other wall on the other side and hopefully that'll be it for today and I'll pick it back up tomorrow and by that time all the adhesive on the ply on the underside of the tray will be fully stuck and then I'll be able to get the tray mounted and in place as well so I'll crack on, get the insulation cut down and fitted into this little wall frame and then I'll start creating the other side as well. So it's Sunday the following day, so I'm going to be cracking on and trying to finish off the bathroom area. It is now almost mid-December as well, so I've got a little heater inside the van as well, just to try and warm the space up as well, because it's very, very cold at the moment as well. But before I continue with this, I'm actually going to frost out the top of the windows that are going to be part of the bathroom. I've got some glass frosting, so I figure I might as well do this now, while I've got nice, easy access to the windows. They're just going to get spray painted over with glass frosting. And then when that's drying up, I'll be continuing with the rest of the bathroom build and also the wall for the bedroom as well. I've got a can of the glass frosting currently in the tub of hot water just to warm up, just so it's going to give a bit of a better spray. In the meantime, I'm just going to give these windows a quick wash down so they're nice and clean, ready to be sprayed over. And then we'll get these frosted and then we'll crack on and continue with the rest of the bathroom build.
Right, so I've cracked on and done the second part of the rear bedroom wall. I've also done a couple of cutouts just in the supporting beams there, and this is what the solar panel cables are going to run inside, just so they're going to be nice and contained within the wall. They're going to drop straight down from that fiberglass cut into the cutouts of the uh, the bracing wall, and then the batteries are going to be sat pretty much around there, and the cables will just poke out the wall when the wall's fully finished. In the meantime, I'm going to get this insulated up. I've got some more of the Rectocell insulation, so I'll be filling this uh, the voids in with this. Then I'll try and get the final wall of the bathroom done, but I might have to go out and get some ply first, so I don't know whether I'll get the bathroom fully finished today, but I should be able to get most of the actual outline done, and I'll be able to get the dividing walls for the bedroom finished. So, as I say, I'll get this insulated, and we'll get cracked on. Right guys, so there's the other wall for the rear bedroom area, fully built, framed out and insulated out as well. So that's both dividing walls for the rear bedroom and that wall is part of the bathroom wall as well. All fully constructed, all fully insulated and I've got all the support framing done for the shower tray as well. But that's pretty much all I can do this weekend, I'm going to have to go and get some ply and because I don't currently have a van myself at the moment, I'm going to have to wait until my brother's a bit free, so that'll be during the week. So next week, I'll be able to finish off boarding over these walls, finish off installing the shower tray and fully constructing the second side of the wall for the bathroom as well. As I was hoping to try and get it all done this weekend, but time's just got away from me and I just don't have the remaining supplies that I'm going to need to finish this off. So that's going to have to do it for this week. Uh, week. So that's going to have to do it for this week's update. Follow back next week when I'll be able to finish off plying over the dividing walls. I should be able to finish off the bathroom build area as well. So as I say, pop back next week. There'll be another update hopefully next week. And if you haven't already, check my channel for the previous episodes of this conversion so far. So thanks for watching. As I say, pop back next week and we'll be able to continue with this build and hopefully get the bathroom finished off. And in the meantime, if you can give the video a good old thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.